Hi guys, how are you doing? Mlaoneza and his business. I hope you're doing good wherever you are. So my name is Asher Songa, as you all know, and this is my channel Asher Songa Lab. And for the past uh, like two years since 2020, I've been teaching in Rwanda here on this channel. I have made videos on alphabet videos on uh, combined consonants videos on numbers and many other things you can check the videos here on my channel but today what I want to say is something which is a bit different I saw that many people want to learn in Rwanda but I'm not sure if there is a video or a course that can cover everything that is in Rwanda because Rwanda and you used to use Tinyarwanda for communication only so you understand there, there are so many words in Tinyarwanda so you cannot learn all of them in just videos or and tutorials so what I want to do today is giving you something that will help you teach yourself something that you can use to learn Tinyarwanda even if there is no one helping you learn this thing is called um, dictionary in your language in English or French. The French it is dictionary and in the English it is dictionary. But in the Rwanda we call it Inhoranya Magambo. Yeah, that is how we call dictionary in the Rwanda. It's called Inhoranya Magambo. And today I'm going to be giving you a dictionary in the Rwanda. I have two versions of it. One is called uh, It is a Starter as a pdf book and another one is the software that you can install on your windows computer and the reason i'm sharing this one is because it's one of the best i have seen that can give you a good view about in rwanda and considering how the the creator of it is so passionate about in rwanda i believe to help you run in rwanda and become the best you want to be in Rwanda in not a long time so uh, I, I will share the the links to download this in in the description so you be sure to check it out and make sure you download it and use it uh, I'm also um, going to show around how it works or what's covered and then we we'll, you will understand it and I will share after the knowledge you can use it on yourself so let, let's start with this software it's called it's in Uganda exist pro but if you look at more info you can see um, it was called it is a starter which was the first building in Uganda English dictionary this was published in 2006 it's been like um, 16 years and still it's one of the best I have seen out there it has uh, up to 2000 words and all those words are explained in a good way you can see all the words that can explain this word so this is why i loved it and you can view the interface in any language you want so you can view the interface in senior one i mean in english in senior Rwanda, in french in spanish portuguese you can see it in any language you want so but the the translations are between english and in Rwanda. be sorry for that but it's a work in progress so when this dictionary was made in 2006 uh, there was no new version this was the the version one and still it's the only version that is out there but the creator is called emmanuel Haumoremni. he has created a new dictionary which is a big one it has almost 2000 pages but he has not yet released it once it get released will be the first to know it so um i'm going to show you around this dictionary this is a software you can install on your computer i will show you the, the setup file and then you can install it on your computer and use it so I'm, I'm going to show you around how it is used how you can use it and all those things after that um, you will judge for yourself so first of all, when you open this, this is the interface you land on. When you open it for the first time, this is the interface. And you can see here we have so many words. So many words here. Not all words, but there are so many words here. You can start from. Oh, let's see, like here we have Ferry. 
Ferry means break, mean the break like on the bike. It, we call it ferry. It's a word that we borrowed from the the the, the outside the languages, but still it's in Rwanda. We have Fanta. Fanta is the soda, you know. You know that. And we have Pachitire. It's called invoice. Yeah. These are the words that you can learn it when you get this dictionary. You can see that there is even the explanations. But if you don't know any Chinyal Wonder words, you can search here, let's say Abanho, and here you get the meaning. Abanho is people, men and women, individuals, people in general, they are Abanho. But, uh, okay, well, one thing, one more thing, you can see there is also how we pronounce it. This is one of the things I love about this, this dictionary. It's a modern dictionary, it's written well, and it was the first to there was other dictionaries but this is the first digital dictionary you can ever get now if you want to search words in english let's say you want to search for a word in english and see the meaning in it in rwanda you can choose english here if you choose english you can come here and let's say ask for um, a lion a lion you can come here have the lion is called Inhare. Yeah, Inhare is the lion. Yeah, you you will read more of the <laughs> these words when you you get the dictionary. Here we have leap. Leap is called Umonwa in Rwanda. We also have many things. Liquid is called Igisutika. We have liquidate. Um, all the things are there. So. I'm not going to go deep into the the words, but you see how to search. If you want to search a word in English, you you choose English here, and you type the word here. And if you want to search the word in it, you want to get the meaning in English, you can search here. You can search uh, Avana. Avana is children. You can see that, and you also get the meaning in English. You can also search based on categories. See the creation, sky, world, water, living things, plant, animal, uh, the person, all those things, you can go through any category you want and then search. You can also search all languages, let's say Leo, and then search. See, you can get all the things that have uh, the can mean Leo. You can also search in Kinyanwanda, you can search um, Umonwa. Umonwa, we saw that it is Rip, right? Rip, Bufungu uh, Umonwa, closing the mouth. Uh, umonwa, the mouth. Or, or Rip, they, they are somehow the same. Uh, lip, lips, I think Rips is the, the mouth. Up. Uh, I, I, I don't you know the meaning but in the same one you only have the mouth the mouth is this this part of the the body and yeah this is how you search through this dictionary and you can look for many things you can do with it after you get it um i, I will i'll give you the link to download it so the other thing uh, that you i wanted to show you I told you that dictionary was released in 2006, but it was not just the software, there was also this PDF. This PDF was released in 2006. It was the first edition by Emmanuel Haumrin. By the way, before I continue, before I even forget, I want to give him the credit. If you want to reach out to him, you can go to his Twitter. It's Emmanuel Haumrini and the username is Haumrini. He is one of the, the people who are yeah, passionate about the, the language and he is also the executive secretary at Rwanda, Rwanda Journalist Association. Yeah, he also have the, his email here. You can send him any if you want to reach out to him, if you want to thank him or if you want uh, to be the first to get the dictionary, the new dictionary which is updated and big one. You can also reach out to him, he, he will be able to help you. So, uh, if we look at this dictionary, uh, I will not read all these words, you can read it, but 
to give the credits to people who participated in it. It was him, Emmanuel, uh, Romani, and Miss Claudine Wamahora in December 2006. This was a big thing. I loved it, and uh, that, that's why I'm telling you to use it because I love how it is organized and how it works. You will, you will love it too. So if you look at the book of contents, you could be a muri inkoranya. Inkoranya is the same as inkoranya magambo, which means dictionary. If you could be means uh, contents, muri, ini, ii, this. So if you could be contents in this um, dictionary. So that, that's what you're going to be looking into. We have um, they they also work with Rwanda Community Net. I don't know if this organization still exists. And we also have um, the origin of Chinyan Rwanda words used in this dictionary. The, there is Imhinezi Chinyan Rwanda. These are abbreviations. And how to use this dictionary and the books used or references or bibliographies so let's go into it yeah there are so many words <laughs> so many words and the meaning our hongo umuhongo this is singular this is plural the plural and singular so in this video i wanted to focus on showing you this dictionary and uh, uh, giving you go ahead and use it it's, it's the best one and i'm sure you will be read by what it will give you it has 1000 pages so if you are going to read it you can read it that's that's actually why i made this video and um i'm glad that you were with me uh, from the beginning up to this i would love to see you in the next videos i'm planning to continue making videos teaching it in Uganda. i have seen that many people want to run in Uganda. Chinwanda is a language of the country Rwanda which is growing very fast and I'm sure in a in a few years or in a few not a long time we will be a, a big country and people will be coming to invest in Rwanda live in Rwanda and people will need to know our language if they want to work with Rwandans because the majority of Rwandans speak Chinwanda so how are we going to work with foreigners if they don't know Chinwanda and we need people to know it in Rwanda because it will ease communication between us and the other people. And there are some universities, foreign universities, which teach in Rwanda apart from the Rwandan university. And I'm, I'm sure if you are in Canada, I saw there is a university called Beta. They they say they have the Tinyan Rwanda program there. Uh, moving forward, mo most of the videos I'm going to be making, I will be translating the, the songs songs and uh, videos made in Rwanda I will be translating them in English and explaining words one by one so if you want to be with me do subscribe to this channel Ashir Songala and make sure if you need anything if you need to run in Rwanda if you need someone who can help you if you need um, just other communication you can use my Instagram it's Ashire underscore songa and then um, I, I will be able to to reach out to you and uh, look for how we can help you so thank you have a, a good time wherever you are and good luck in what you're doing um, see you